Hello guys, what's up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hi, I am Akshay and today we are going to create this Among Us Avatar Generator app that as you saw can generate beautiful vector animated avatar pictures with tons of customization. You can change the background, color, skin, hat and so much more. You can even use this generate button to randomly generate the image. And after that, you can simply click the share button to save it or share it with your friends. Now, I have already uploaded everything related to this project on GitHub. So you can check the project files from there. The link is in the description below. Now, this project is a bit tricky for beginners and I wouldn't suggest any newbie to do this project as it has a lot of things going on like painting the stars on the background using custom painter or like doing state management using provider etc. And this video isn't like a full blown tutorial. It is just a demo or showcase of what cool things Flutter can do. Watch this video till the end to fully understand the code like what part does what and also I would be telling you an awesome idea for a project that you can do. Now this video has already been delayed like 3 months due to my exams so let's not delay it further more. So karna. First of all, let's take a look at the packages that we are using in this app. First, we are using this modified share package which allows us to share images. To know a little bit more about this package and others, I have linked their documentation below. Now, we also need faker package which is used to generate the random names. It is a big package but it works quite well and has a ton of options to customize. Then we are also using the provider package to do state management. Now we are not going into deep on how this works because it will require like a 20 minutes video on its own. You can check out some other awesome videos I have linked below to know a little more about provider. Then we are using the screenshot package to capture the avatar and generate an image from it. We are using this package because the final image is to be like the rasterized version of a layered photoshop document. Like all the layers have to be combined on top of each other to get the final image. We are also using the sliding up panel package to house the tunables and crop button. At last we are using the url launcher package to as you might have guessed it open urls from the app like my github profile. Now if you have already opened it you might also follow me there because I make a lot of projects uh, that are open source and you can learn a lot from them. Now after you have done that let's look at the assets that we need. Now we need images for everything ranging from backgrounds to skins. These here are designed by Abhe and they are present there in the repository. You can also load more images here like new hats and other stuff and then just go to the globals.dart file in the lib folder and change the corresponding size variable to the total counts of hats now. Then we just need a few buttons like share, generate that are also designed by Abhay and you can follow him on Twitter if you like what you see. You might have been thinking like that this is easy then why was he ranting in the start that this project is not for beginners. Then let me tell you why in this next section. Just like the tradition we are going to start coding from the main.dart file in which we call the run app function. I have wrapped the home page widget with oh look at it a provider and here it goes boom. The home page holds the whole code required to make this app work in it. It has the buttons their functions, the collapse bottom panel and everything. Mm, not like everything, I mean then we wouldn't have these other files but it does have a lot of things. Then we have this file here which houses the generate button as it says 
then in this globals file we have created the rv provider class which extends chain notifier and therefore is the place where all variables related to the avatar are initialized modified etc then we have this file which stores just the custom painter class which paints the random stars on the background in an among us fashion then we also have the about dialog and the bottom panel files which as they say are about dialog and the bottom panel respectively now i am not going to fully tell what each line does in the code because if you aren't a beginner you can easily understand that Now, after you have made this project, you can simply make it into a website using Flutter Web and change it from like Among Us to anything you want, like Cyberpunk character generator or something, and get famous. I won't do that because I am busy with other projects and making some more awesome videos for you. So make sure to subscribe. You can also comment down below and let me know what awesome Flutter thing I should make a video on next. Thanks for watching.